And Dr. Ma said this in page 116 of Becoming a Leader. Leaders are willing to make sacrifice for the sake of service. Most of us don't want to make no sacrifice. Our life is caught up. We want to do this and we want to do that and we want to go here. And we, so you don't want to learn to, to, to um, harness your ability. You don't want to apply your ability in the service of others. And you're not interested in what is the righteous way of doing it. So you go, leaders are willing. What we call leaders are, are no more than people that are willing to make sacrifice for the sake of a service. They go, the people need to learn, or the people need food, or the people need to be protected. And these people just go, okay, nobody is taking the lead to do it. I'm going to try. I am going to try to do it. Well, look what stops. The Satan job is very simple. Satan knows also what, what, what a leader is. Those who make sacrifice for the sake of service. They think more about those whom they are serving through their vision than about their own comfort. What's killing man is selfishness. Yes. He loves comfort. He loves pleasure. He loves to be entertained. He doesn't think about what does God want? What's the best way to preserve all of our, all our life? You know, he doesn't consider those things. He went on to say, entertainment and relaxation are not their principal goal in life. There are two things most human beings think about. How to be entertained and how to what? Kick back and what? Relax. Why do they need more money? Why? Most people that want more money, why? To get more excitement, more entertainment, see more plays, do more things, have more fun, or the what? So I don't have to get up in the morning, I can sleep in and relax and hang on. How many people pray for more money to bring about a greater change? Not for relax and not for entertainment. Lord, if you bless me and put me in a position of power, then grant me the grace that I can help your people to remove the evil off of this earth. Because it means you're eliminating entertainment and relax. Give me a thousand. One or two, does it? All the rest want power and money. That's why God does not answer their prayer. To be entertained and relax. When God, when you come into a position, what maturity? Maturity is... I am ready to serve. It's like Abraham Lincoln said. Yes, sir. You, must come, you must come to the point where you go, I'm ready to serve my country. I'm ready to serve my people. I'm ready to serve my God. This is what maturity is. I have finally come to the place that I want to serve. I'm ready to do Mother Teresa. I'm ready to do Jesus. Jesus got it. No greater person in the kingdom than one who can what? Serve. That's maturity. Maturity is now you're 28. Not your 30. Not your 13. Not your 14. You're ready to what? Sir, when that, that statement or posture implies or puts you in a position where you go, I'm not interested in being entertained or relaxed. I'm interested in what? Sir, the world is in the state it is because the sons and daughters of God are not ready to serve. They are far more interested right now in being entertained. They want to hear the latest thing, what's going on. They need friends, they need people. They constantly need to be stimulated. They're looking for entertainment. They're constantly looking to get more money, better job, better this. For what? So they can relax more. Relax at home, go, 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 go on vacation, or why? Go here. They're not interested. The servant of God doesn't take that way. Some of you know me. I haven't been on vacation for, who knows, probably two decades. But why? Vacation for me will never be vacation. Why? It doesn't get me away from the constant hands of God that I have to what? Serve. Where I go, I'll just end up serving. Because until we all come to this place, we will not eradicate the evil upon the earth. Evil is happening because those who are called to serve it. When Jesus said, when Jesus saw the injustice, what did he do? What did he do? Why did he go? God fix it. He didn't do that. He could go and pray to God you know, to push out those who can serve to e Eradicated. That's what he told the disciple to do. When I pray to God about matters, he goes, okay, pray this way. Those I have in the position that are capable of dealing with this matter, pray for me to push them up. To put my hands upon them. To make them grow up. To make them stop thinking all the time about entertainment and relaxation. That's all they think about. Their prayer, God, can you let me get a better job? Why? So I can have more money, so I can relax more. Can you let me get a better job? 
so I can travel more. Can you let me get a better job? Then I can get a bigger house, a bigger TV. It'll be awesome. I can entertain more people. That's what they pray for. They rarely pray for more strength, whether it's in resource or within themselves, to serve. Maturity is your commitment to serve and the switch of prayer for God and for other people. You rarely pray about yourself. You rarely pray about you. You will have little issues, but it doesn't come here to the task what? before you. And it's, it's here to when God gives you the vision. When you go, okay, you are finally ready. You understand? For the ecclesia. It's God's senate. It's God's government. You are finally ready to be a church. So here is the vision for this church, for you. You are going to serve these people. You are going to fight cancer. You are going to fight, I don't know, hunger. He will give you a vision. I show you then how to fulfill it. Maturity is not no more than I am not looking or interested. I don't care to be entertained or to relax. Immaturity is simple. I, I don't agree with all the abuse and all the children that are getting into slavery. I, don't, I wish it would stop. But my entertainment and my relaxation come first. I say, thank God, I like you. Your thinking gives me freedom. So it works. It is sad. It, it is. I really, I don't throw the ball to God. It goes straight back to me. So I stopped doing that a long time ago. It's us. The most I can go, for, you must have known what we were going to be like. Why did you give us the power? But God absolutely believes sooner or later, maybe when the evil come bad enough, we will mature. He truly believes at some point we will grow up. He's 100% committed to that idea. God is 100% committed that sooner or later, none of us are going to want no entertainment or no relaxation. We'll all be committed to service. And at a different time, we all did. I was a man, I lived in my youth for the entertainment. Where the entertainment was, I was. Where the relaxation was, I was. But it came a time, injustice was too much. I go, Lord, help me to become what I must become. To honor you and to help people. That's what I've been doing. That's, that's all a servant of the Lord. He's a pastor, a bishop, an evangelist, a kingdom citizen. They are someone who is committed to service and give up entertainment and relaxation. We refer to them, and the Bible refer to them as maturity. I am ready to serve my fellow man. I'm finally ready to do Genesis the book of Genesis, use your power in the service of what? God and man, the scriptures say. It's all this. So anytime I see evil, I'm, it just makes me more shameful of us, the human species. You ever look at the entertainment world? You live in a world they're pushing consistently to be more entertained, more relaxation, not becoming more responsible, not maturity. Trust me, I know. I've been fighting this fight a long time. Trying to use the little we have to serve. Mm -hmm. While the masses are looking, you understand? Those with massive, how to entertain more. More boat, more house, more this. They just go nuts. While they are aware that their bodies and mind need time to renew or to rejuvenate and refresh. They make the best use of their time that they can. Maturity is like, you're not stupid that your body and mind need rest. You're quite aware of it. <laughs> but you know, why there's evil on this earth? You can't relax too much. You know. You know, you, know you need some time to just sit down for a minute just to, because you're constantly engaged in the battle. How am I going to serve? How am I going to honor God? All the time, this happens 24 hours in your mind. You're reading a lot of nonsense, getting many of our mind. You are not committed to service and glory. And so your mind get tired, you just like Jesus, you just need to sit down under the tree for a minute. But during the time you are here, you go, I'm going to do the best I could. Your relaxation is to a minimum. You understand? Your entertainment is to a minimum. But your service at all times is what? Maximum overdrive. 
God is the one who has to bring you to this place. He has to bring you to the place that you realize service is greater than entertainment and relaxation. It's not an age thing. Mother Teresa did this when they're young. Some people catch it young. Some people catch it whole. Some people, it, it's all over the place. But what I know, it's needed. I encourage you guys, pray at night, come and pray. But come, don't just show up, come with purpose. And not just pray at night at home. I don't know what you guys pray for, but I hope you're being, I think Sister Jess said it. We lose this, the truth about it. We gotta look around the world. The kingdom citizens are getting whipped. The enemy is moving faster, more effective, better system, better strategy, better plan, more definitive purpose, more focus, more commitment. Why? The kingdom citizens still lack knowledge how it all works. They don't quite get it. The best most of them give to me is like, I, I, I know the end of the book. We win. I'm like, yes, and we suffer all the way through in the meanwhile. In essence, this is what they say. Christ is going to come and fix it all. But the last time I check, I also read the book. Christ, so when I come, before I even begin to fix it, I'm going to deal with those I put in charge that was supposed to what? Fix it. He said, judgment begins in the church. Why do why did, why did Christ get mad with the disciple? You see, you're always falling asleep. And didn't I tell you to go here after he died? Soon as he left, they're not focused, they're not commitment, they're not driven, they're not passionate. Judgment begins with those that he's maturing. They're called in the Bible the first fruits. Those call to exercise service. Service. I'm telling you, if you're talking to God, He's not answering your prayers and so forth. Ask didn't this question, the Lord. Am I serving in the way you want me to serve? I promise you, you'll answer you very quickly. Simple prayer. Lord, am I serving in the way you want me to serve? <laughs> Be careful, you might not like the answer. Be careful what you answer. Amen. And he will not answer you until you come to that position. Until you come and say, Lord, okay. I know I like to be entertained and relaxed, but I need to grow up. I know people are dying because I am selfish. I like my things, my way, my time. It's me, 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 me. Me. As Joy said, me, my, and I. It's all here, right? Decide to change or ask him how to change that. Life becomes different for you. Amen. I spent a lot of time praying for man. A lot of time. Um, could be a lot more. That's why the Bible says he is long suffered. God so wants to eliminate evil from this realms. But he is waiting on man to grow up. <laughs> He's a father boy. Chill, child, would you ever stop playing around and relaxing? Look around. You're like, hey, I see it. I see that. I'll get through it. No, you don't. You've been saying that for 10 years. The church lose the battle for lack of understanding. You are extraordinary. Or what's in you is extraordinary. But you need to mature. Part of your maturity depends on your willingness to serve. Look around. If you can only see whatsoever connects with you, it will, it will bring the discipline you need to stop the excessive entertainment and relaxation. Look around. I can, I can just think for two seconds in my mind the things that I see. They're things I've been working on for years. The evil's still there. How can I go rest? Does the evil rest? I don't see the evil get tired and just go away. Therefore, I can't get tired and go away. What stopped many evil from completely saturating and destroying this world? It's a few sons and daughters of God hosting the Holy Spirit. A few pockets where the government of God is still operating. That's the only thing stopping them. They, they pray every day in their own way. Don't these people go away and get tired? Why don't they give up? 
Can they see they're losing the election? But if step one of us is standing, they're going to keep having trouble.